SC Custom Designs. I want to welcome you into my poly shed. SC Custom Designs. We have it up to 60 degrees, my friends. It's kind of, uh, I think it's like 20 degrees outside at the moment. Sorry for the jostling of the camera. One day I'll upgrade to something. 32 degrees, my friends, is what we got. Not bad, eh? For a poly shed. The sun, when the sun was out, it was like 72 in here. So at any rate, why are we in the poly shed? Because we're doing things like uh, putting VOCs into the air. So that brings me to today's episode for this week uh, for SC Custom Designs. We're going to do at least a one one video a week, if not more, because I'm very enthusiastic about what I do and I love it. Uh, and so here we go. We're looking at what you will probably have lying around in your wood shop, maybe, maybe not, or in your house. We have Minwax, been around forever. Not a, I am not a salesman for any of these products. I just use them. Uh, Minwax, we have a high build polyurethane. Uh, these come in urethanes, and they're also water-based. Um, we have a Minwax clear aerosol lacquer. Um, let's put it in order of yuckiness. <laughs> Uh, we have our Danish oils, tongue oil, uh, dark walnut, and a high gloss here. Um, and then I would I would say one of your, your safer ones out of all of these uh, is going to be the, the Feed and Wax uh, wood polish and conditioner. It's beeswax and orange oil mixed together. It actually smells pretty good when you're putting it on. It really all depends on what you're doing, doesn't it? Um, there's just going to be a need when you got to get something done quick dirty and fast so i would use a lacquer because in 15 minutes it's ready to sand my friends and you have a a, a flat and a, a mid uh, sheen and a high sheen so there you go um and it all again it depends on what, what it's the the finish is going on is it going to be a high energy high uh used like a table scratches and this type of thing and dishes and you know doilies and those types of things it really all depends. I'm tending to go from here to here, then I go to an extreme when I need to. So at any rate, I go from here to here to here. We're going to go ahead and use this product here. All right, what are we putting them on today? We're putting them on these uh, the customers uh, custom made um, bandsaw boxes. Okay. They're going to go under the sewing table so that the customer can very conveniently just reach in and grab what she needs. That customer is my wife. I made her a custom table to her height. And uh, when she sits down, everything is just perfect for her. So at any rate, um, before you judge me, this here you're not going to see. This goes fixed underneath the, the table and you're only going to see this. And this was sanded down so that if her knees come in contact with it, it's okay. But I really don't care too much about uh, what what these guys are looking, the, the tops and the sides. This, on the other hand, she'll be working with. She wanted this uh, little cutout here for the drawers. That's nice. Drawer handle's never going to fall off. <laughs> um, let's get to it. It's, it's actually fun using this... Uh, this product. It's uh, just a pleasure to use. It's so natural. Whoops. Um, I tend to put it on just with my hands and then sort of rub it in with, with a cloth. Keep in mind this um, this wood is very 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 dry. It hasn't had a drink since uh, well since I gave it a drink I gave it uh, I actually use Min Minwax Golden Oak. Actually yeah, I think it was Minwax Golden Oak. So at any rate, I will give this guy as much as it wants. I wanted to drink, drink, drink. Sorry for the moving of the camera. 